Hi, I'm Skyler. This is going to be a quick overview of how to use Safari on an iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad, any iOS device, specifically iOS 7. First of all, go to Settings. Then go to iCloud. And if you're signed in to iCloud, make sure Safari is turned on. What that will do is synchronize bookmarks and tabs and your reading list across each device with which you've signed in with your Apple ID, your iCloud account. OK, if you've done that, open up Safari. It's the icon that looks like a compass. This should be the first thing you see. In my case, it's all of my favorite bookmarks, things that I visit with some regularity. At the very bottom, we see some navigation controls, back, forward, the one in the middle is Share, then Bookmarks, and Tabs. Let's create a new private tab. OK, so now you notice that the user interface elements have turned a slightly darker gray. And that means that we're now in private browsing. This doesn't record our history, for example. If you tap at the top where it says Search or Enter an Address, your keyboard appears. If you just search for, say, New York Times, you notice that it auto-completes. And it also suggests Google searches and searches your bookmarks and history. So let's say I wanted to find a certain article from the New York Times. And that's why I started typing it. And it's right here from my history. So I'll tap that. All right. You see how it's formatted the text? Safari is a pretty great browser that way. Those are the basics of how to use Safari on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.